Hi and welcome to a new episode of Career Growth. In today's episode, we are going to discuss on a topic which is considered as one of the noble and respectable career. Yes, we are going to discuss on health sciences. So Chani, what do you really mean by health sciences? Well, Mamdha, health sciences is a broader umbrella under which there is medicine in which allopathy, Ayurveda, homeopathy that uh, comes as well as paramedical options like physiotherapists, speech therapists, audiologists, etc. So all of this put together is under the umbrella of health sciences. Oh, wow. We always consider only medicine as one of the options when we talk about health sciences. But students, you need to understand it's not only medical, but you also have option called as paramedical. And definitely, I'm sure it also must be having good scope, right, Chani? Definitely. A lot of people, when they come to us, a lot of our clients tend to say that, uh, you know, paramedical is something that people take when they are not able to get through into medicine. But that's not the case anymore. A lot of people want to get into physiotherapy. A lot of people genuinely on their own would like to get into speech, audiology, etc. Because these complement the medical field. These complement the doctor's uh, work uh, for the patient. So a better treatment for uh, overall health of the patient. Doctors as well as paramedics work hand in hand. So can we say that probably... uh paramedical will be little st- less stressful as compared to the medical field uh, we may not have this uh, you know emergencies that maybe a doctor would have the life saving emergencies etc but paramedical work can also be stressful because for example a physiotherapist would have to actually go and get the exercise done hold the person hold the patient and get the exercise done from the uh, patient so it would depend on how you see it but also if you are a medical doctor or if you are a, a, a medicine person, you can have a slightly stress-free uh, you know, career if you take up options of, they say, dentistry, which is not a very uh, you know, stressful field or which can be a little comparatively less stressful, as well as if you work in the insurance sector or in the teaching sector or in the research sector. So the life-saving or those kind of emergencies and stress can be avoided. So probably if you really feel you do not want to practice it, probably some options like teaching or insurance can be considered, right? Definitely. But beyond that, are there any other options wherein the stress would be little less and still I'm able to be in the field related to medicine or paramedical? Uh, Well, then it depends on your practice. It depends on how much cases you would want to take up. How do you want to... Uh, devote your time to your practice and the other aspects of your life because a lot of people see a lot of kids get discouraged from medicine because they feel that it's going to be a very stressful life ahead not only just studies so then in that case they can definitely try to balance it out if they have their own practice how much time they want to devote to practice and the other aspects of their life right also one more thing that we have like you know heard most of the students saying I don't like to see blood. I really cannot stand by blood. So is it really important that we need to consider all these parameters or even especially when you talk about biology, dissection and all is not been preferred by most of the students. But is it going to be a part and parcel of medical field? Definitely a part of study because uh, of course it's going to be a part of treatment as well, especially you take up if you take up surgery. But definitely uh, biology interest, being really uh, academically oriented are one aspect. But it is very important for the person to really introspect that will that person be able to really see blood, dissect things on a regular basis, especially during the study part. Later on, if you don't take up probably surgery, you may not have to see it so much. But wounds etc. is going to be a part of a medical professional. Also, we have, uh, like, you know, we have seen parents asking this question regularly, currently at least, which is the most safest specialization for girls. So what would be your answer for it, Chani? 
uh well there's nothing safest like that but a lot of uh, parents seem to have this uh, you know understanding that uh, dentistry would be a preferable thing for girls because there are no emergencies and you don't really have to work late nights or you have to rush in the night to uh, uh, your uh, clinic or hospital etc so many of them go in for dentistry for that reason but as we uh, just discussed earlier you could probably be doing some other specialization and you could probably be working in the research or teaching uh, sector as well so that can be a little less stressful than the actual uh, medical profession correct wow we have got so much of information related to health sciences and definitely i'm sure through this episode you would have got to know too much of information and which is surely informative and useful to you and with this information you will be able to take wise career decision for yourself So if you have liked this episode and enjoyed watching us do like and subscribe career group